The Nets still remain the favorites to win the NBA title this season at Caesar Sportsbook. The Lakers, Warriors, and Bucks round out the rest of the top four teams with the shortest odds. Kendrick Perkins back here with us. Perk, can the Nets still win the title this season? Hell no. Not without Kyrie Irving. Hell no, Molly. Look, the Eastern Conference is just so good, right? They have got a lot better. You're looking at Chicago Bulls. You're looking at Milwaukee. You're looking at Philly, although they're going through a slump right now. They still don't have Joel and B. You got too many teams. The Hawks are starting to play better. Here's the thing, right? When I look at the Brooklyn Nets, my concerns is not Kevin Durant because he's playing the best basketball of his career, in my opinion. My concerns is not even James Harden. I feel like he's going to figure it out. My concern, and one of my concerns has always been Steve Nash. And I think against the Golden State Warriors, we saw that. We saw that. And I know a lot of the blame went on the players, and I get all that. But preparation, adjustments, it means everything, especially when you're playing against a team that's at the same level as you. We saw Golden State preparation. It was a lot different. They approached that like it was a playoff game. Uh, Ron Adams and Mike Brown had those boys out there on, de on the defensive side of schemes in a diamond setting. Sometimes they were trapping. Sometimes they was in man-to-man. -man. And what I saw Steve Nash do against the Golden State Warriors bothered me. When I saw him bench LaMarcus Aldridge, a guy that has been your third option type player this whole season, and you get to this game and you bench him, he don't play a minute in the first half, and all of a sudden, what do LaMarcus Aldridge do last night? He come in and drop 24 off the bench. So my concerns is not Kevin Durant or James Harden, it's Steve Nash and what, is he able to coach and make adjustments on the fly? And against Golden State, we saw that he's not on that level yet. Let me get real serious on this subject, Kendrick Perkins. Um, I don't disagree with you with your point. It's bigger than that, but I don't disagree with your point. But what I'm about to say, in my time with you on this show, I've never been more sure in my life that you're about to agree with every word that I say. You bring up Steve Nash and lack of preparation. Steve Nash has never coached a day in his life in the NBA. Never coached on any level before he got the Brooklyn Nets job. Whose fault is it that he's there as their head coach? That would be KD and Kyrie. Now, I would remind the world, Steve Nash, a good man, a hell of a player, Hall of Famer, who, by the way, I think has the potential to be a very, very good coach. He's had some good moments. Last year wasn't god-awful, even though we saw some hiccups in the postseason, particularly with his usage of Kevin Durant not spelling for him and leading him to exhaustion. We had nothing left in overtime against Milwaukee in Game 7. But what I would say to you, KP, who was available at the time? that the Brooklyn Nets were looking for a coach. I believe Mark Jackson was Lue. available. I believe Ty Lue was available. We sit here today, Molly, mm -hmm. Kendrick Perkins will confirm, Ty Lue might be the best coach in basketball right now. Ty Lue of the Los Angeles Clippers, when we watch the work that that man has done since he's been head coach of the Clippers, we, he might be the best coach in basketball. Might be. You bypassed both of them. I'm not blaming Sean Marks for that. We all know what KD wants, KD gets, because he is the Brooklyn Nets. They got no hesitation with him because that brother wants the ball all day, every day. And by the way, he came into the game against Golden State, averaging 28.9 points, 56% shooting from the field, and better than 40% from three-point range. He's been doing his job. I need James Harden to do better and remind us that he's a superstar, too, and to start playing like one on a consistent basis. Don't get me started with Kyrie. You know where I stand. You heard what the hell I said yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't stutter. I don't give a damn what anybody says. He's betrayed them, and I'm going to say that till the cows come home. Plain and simple. He ain't taking no vaccine and all that stuff. I understand that. I believe that even if there was no vaccine, Kyrie would find an excuse to get time off from work because that's just how he rolls. But Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, not only signed off on Steve Nash being the coach, you had a whole bunch of brothers out there that were looking for opportunities to get their shine. 
and they didn't even facilitate cats getting interviewed for the job. That's a fact. There were no brothers in the pipeline that we saw coming through the back pages of a sports section. This person's being interviewed for the job. That person's being interviewed for the job. You couldn't at least ensure that some brothers got interviewed just so they could get some pub, even in the event that they don't get the job, that they at least go into consideration for other jobs? I'm looking at Steve Nash and his staff. I'm looking at my brother David Vanderpool on that staff, who should have been a head coach in Minnesota, who should have had consideration for the Portland job long before uh, uh, Chauncey Billups ever got there, but we happy for Chauncey Billups. But in the end, the players themselves who are running the franchise never once facilitated a brother being interviewed for the job to give a shot. And this is fresh off the social justice issues. This is fresh off of people looking at our society and saying, Could we, we, you know what, y'all need to listen to us. And white folks in America saying, we're listening. We want to hear you. We want to elevate ourselves to this with this conversation because the aftermath of the George Floyd killing took place. All of that stuff happened. Mm. And KD and Kyrie running the nets, getting what they want, did nothing to provide any kind of pushback for Steve Nash being the coach because Kyrie said, we really don't need a coach. We, we, we could do it ourselves. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.